Yep, so these are the new stamps which are being launched at the weekend. Just thought we'd give you a bit of a sneak peek. I'll um, let Kay talk about them. <clears throat> hi, hi everyone. It's Kay here from Indigo Blue. You've just been talking to Alfie. Say hello, Alfie. Hi. <laughs> so, you've got the sneak peek. So, Hachanda, Sunday the 13th, 8am. I'm going to launch these gorgeous new stamps. So we have Wild Puppy, gorgeous, with a lovely little um, peony there and some branches and some cherry blossom. So there's a lovely, these are all designed to work together. We have another, oh sorry, this is Poppy, I beg your pardon, and this is Peony. And that's a little peony at the bottom. We also have some anemones, little anemones. They're in the dark there because you're right. All right, let's it. just move across. Okay. Come hither. So we'll start here. We have the anemones and a little daisy. And this is beautiful little fern that I've just put little hearts on, which are gorgeous. Just seen the peony. So it's a nice big size. Look at the size of that. Really nice and um, some nice leaf details and these are quite easy to cut out as well then we've got a lovely wild poppy and um, some branches with some cherry blossom and a little peony there that's called wild poppy and um, we've got another peony here which matches the other one which well it's different it just goes with it quite nicely and this has got a lovely marigold on and another of the cherry blossoms and a really nice leaf detail yes I know another butterfly yay love this absolutely love it because you know I love the big butterfly and it's been such a favorite so I thought I'd do another one um, so different style um, lots of areas for you to color in um, nice bit of dot detail there so really loving that and then we've done a lovely corner piece or a central piece called flower power so i'm really really excited about these these of course are on our usual red rubber with cling mounting so you just have to trim them around with a normal pair of scissors as normal so these are going to go live on sunday on hachanda at 8 a.m so we've got a fantastic deal for you as well that we've arranged um, so yeah and um so we need to be having a prize don't we for tonight mm -hmm. so um i think we should give one of these away alfie should we okay okay so we're going to give one of these away so we're going to ask you to just like and share comment um, but definitely share whilst we're live, just whilst we're live. So keep on commenting, keep on sharing, and um, then we will do our random generator <laughs> to pick a winner at the end of the show, and we'll post it on Facebook after the show, and then you can choose which one you would like, okay, out of these. So just to go through them again, Big Butterfly, uh, Marigold and Peony, Wild Poppy, Peony, Anemone and Daisy and Flower Power. Okay, so which one would you have? Okay, hope you like them. Let us know what you think. So let me just get with these, excuse me. Okay, so what are we going to do tonight? We're going to do um, a painted background and it's just going to go on a 12-12 sheet of card and that is going to be then just that simple, you know that maze uh, mini book that you can easily make out of 1212 paper, super simple, uh, watch me make a mess of it, um, but um, we're going to have a play of, of doing that. Okay, so let's get started. What I've done is I've chosen um, three uh, complementary colours. So I've gone for Stroke of Midnight, turn this round, Townhouse Teal, and frosty sky these are all the matte 
acrylic paints. These are all um, really super thick, juicy, lovely, pigment rich and no water in these so you can add a bit of water to them. And we're just going to do a really super easy um, baby wipe technique. Okay, so just want you to get the colour down. We're going to have one baby wipe per colour. Okay, and these are quite nice and juicy. So we're going to start off with um, the teal. And I just want you to just be really, really free and easy with this. Just like a kid painting. So this is actually a watercolour card. Um, that I've cut. It's actually 11 and 3 quarters because it was from an A2 sheet. So, but you can use um, any mixed media card that you've got, anything that's going to withstand painting and bashing and folding and all of that. But I, I like a good thick 300 gram paper or card, watercolour card for me. So that's what I'm using. Um, we should have some watercolour card on the website soon because we've got some, hopefully we'll have some Bockingford coming in soon. So this is now Frosty Sky and I'm just being very, very random with it, not really thinking too hard about where it's going, allowing it just to mix. Now the Stroke of Midnight is really, really strong pigmented but when you add water to it, I'm just going to add a teensy weensy bit of water to this, you really see this lovely rich colour coming through. So I'm just, just going um, to... Just speak up a little bit because it's... Oh, can you not hear me? Sorry. I'll put my head nearer to the microphone. So this is Stroke of Midnight. And I'm just letting that spread around now you know me it always looks like a dog's dinner to begin with but you've just got to you just got to trust me just you know go with it and because we've got lots of paint on here we can start mixing and merging it so again just with a baby wipe and then I'm coming back in with layering bit more colour on there and then mixing again so you can see that you get some nice sort of ov overlapping textures coming through then with the frosty sky and if you wanted to you could go over with the brayer but I, I'm probably not going to do that with this because I like all this loose texture that we've got going on and because this is all going to be folded up into small pages you know you can afford to be quite loose and free with it so I'm just going to blast that with a heat gun so who have we got watching tonight hi Liz hi Chris Thanks very much. I love these colours. You know me, I love sort of blues. Of course, with indigo blue being my favourite. Now, this is not going to be completely dry, but I want it just dry enough so that I can go with some stencils. So again, we're doing layering. Just I love layering, so I always start off with just getting something down on first, and then we'll start layering through. Now I say I could do with really leaving that to dry, but I'm just going to steam ahead anyway. So this one is faded dots, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my palette over. So what I've done is I've cut some small pieces of fat foam, but you can use any sort of foam at all, and I'm just going to just do a little bit of stenciling with these faded dots it's a little bit wet this but I quite like that actually I'm going to keep it wet because I really like the way it's running through the stencil and it's joining up see how lovely and messy that is that's really nice I like that so I'm then going to come in with some overlapping 
teal, townhouse teal. And that's just going to add lots of lovely texture to that. See how it's offset over here? And we can afford to go absolutely anywhere on here because again it's all going to be cut up into small pages. Well that's how it's going to end up. And then I'm going to swap over to the frosty sky. So this is our lightest sort of grey with a hint of blue in it. So this just adds a lovely contrast. And again if we overlay that on top you get really lovely layering. And it works because we're, we're keeping to a really, really tight palette of complementary colours. So we haven't got any contrasting colours in this. They all complement each other. They're all next to each other on the colour wheel. So just, um, Sue's just asked what which stencil that is again? So that was Faded Dots, uh, mm -hmm. Indigo Blue's Faded Dots. Um, I think I might come in with this, which is Tasty Textures. And... I'm just going to, I think I might actually, I'm just going to squeeze this out because it is very, very wet. There we go. It's a little bit better. And I really love this tiny little piece at the bottom here on this stencil. It's just really, really useful. So you can see I'm not really worrying about it being absolutely spot on, absolutely perfect. I'm just going to swap now to that teal and see that it, it mixes with that other colour as well. And then cross hatch it and get some really beautiful textures coming through. So that's just that one little stencil there. And then we've got these lovely sort of Klimt type, oh, sort of inspired by Klimt squares. Love Klimt squares. So that's what these are. And let's get some. So I'm going to alternate between the frosty sky and the townhouse teal. And then just you can see we're just building up textures, we're just really virtually covering the whole space. Just remind everybody what the paper is you're working on. Okay, so this is £300, um, three, yeah, GSM. 300 GSM. 300 GSM, nice thick watercolour card that I've cut down into, it's actually 11 and 3 quarter inches. Um, but you need something like a, a, a square piece, usually 12 12, but something that you can work work on. Um, and we'll take paint, so I like using watercolour card. And hopefully we will be back in stock soon with, with our watercolour card in bigger sizes. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off my stenciling with a few of these. Normally I go vertically with these diamond or harlequin shapes, but I think it does look nice going horizontally as well. So again, I'm just moving randomly around there so you get really nice sort of textures coming through there. Okay, so next on my list, again, just give this a blast. So hi Carol, nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see that you, you've got a glass of wine with you. Unfortunately, mine's just a glass of water, <laughs> so um, I haven't got a glass of gin. wine. Not gin, not yet. Maybe later, maybe afterwards. Sorry while well, I took a drink of that. But yeah, I should join Jodie really in a glass of wine, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's Jodie Johnson from Tonic. She does, um, she does a fab one on a Monday night, is it, Tuesday. Alfie? A Tuesday night. Yeah. She's always got a nice glass of red. So just run through the paints again for people who've just joined. Okay, so we have um, Duncan Disorderly's Stroke of Midnight, 
we have oh sorry for my nails um, we have townhouse teal which is also matte and we have frosty sky so it's these three that I've used and they are quite um, concentrated so you can add a bit of water to them and I've just used baby wipes so now that I've dried that off it's still a bit tacky but I'm just going to go over with um, I'm not going to use those actually I'm going to go over with my little collector's edition stamp so this is bubbles Kathy's with us and says it's only, it's only 10 15 in the morning with her so she's just got coffee <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to have gin and tonic. But yeah, nice cup of joe. Nice to see you, Cathy. Thanks very much for watching. So I think what I'm doing is, again, I'm restricting my palette. Um, so I'm sticking with the blue. So I've got Blue Hawaii and Midnight Blue um, from Stays On. These are really good because they go on top of acrylic paints beautifully. So with this, I'm just going to use the two colours. And... I'm just going to repeat stamp all the way across. Now because I'm going across the whole area, remember it's going to go across multiple pages so you don't have to, to worry. So you get a nice sort of long snake of bubbles coming through here. You could do this with cogs as well which would work equally well and just remember to keep turning your stamp round and um, the best thing is just to go for it and not to think too hard so that was the collector's edition bubbles and um, we've got to have a bit of ink splat haven't we so I'm going to do some midnight blue and just a little bit on the edges here And this is with the Midnight Blue Stays On. There we go. And people ask, do I clean my stamps? With Stays On, no, because it, it just evaporates and it dries um, and it can't be reactivated. You can clean it with, um, you know, our Easy Peasy, but half the time I don't bother or I'll just use a, an old tea towel just to give them a wipe over. Oh, yes, got to have a little bit of my numbers so this is collector's edition number four numbers love this stamp so I'm going to do some free stamping with this I'm not going to use an acrylic block so I'm just going to pick up some stays on and then I'm just going to free stamp by just pressing a small amount of the stamp onto the surface and you get just a nice small area rather than just a, a square block of colour and asks if you could do this on a canvas. Oh yes, absolutely. This background you can do on a canvas, but I'm actually going to be making it into a book, so I am going to cut it, cut it up. So if you're going to do that, you, you would use canvas sheet, you know, like a sheet of canvas, um, which you can buy individually, or you can buy, um, a, if you there's a special off on a stretched canvas, you can actually cut it off the canvas and use it that way. But if you wanted to um, just do a piece of artwork, absolutely use it on a nice canvas. So you can see how we're just really building up those layers, layer upon layer. So that was my numbers. And size-wise, it's just smaller than 1212, isn't it? It is, yeah. I wanted a 1212, but the sheet of paper I had wasn't that size. So it's actually 11 and 3 quarters. But as long as it's at a large square, about 12, 12 inches, that is. So this is a Weird Science Series Calculus. I love this stamp. It's really beautiful detail that you get on it. And again, I'm going to free stamp with this. So I'm just going to put the Blue Hawaii and the Midnight Blue. Victoria's just asking about storage for the collector's edition. Ah, yes, that's um, that's kind of coming. That's looking coming, into it. Yeah, that's coming at the end of the year. Um, I'm being a bit fussy about it because I want it so that it can sit on my desk um, and I can easily access it. So yeah, that's coming at the end of the year. So stay tuned for that. Who is that? Who asked, who asked that Victoria. question? Victoria. Victoria. Thanks, Victoria. I love this because this is out of my granddad's calculus book. So it not only gives you lovely background, see the detail on it as well. 
It's lovely, isn't it? You can read every tiny, tiny little letter. It's beautiful. And again, just free stamping with this. It stays on permanent on fabric, is a question from Sue. Um, they say it is permanent, but I don't think you can wash it, to be honest, because they don't say it's like a fabric. See, let me just open the back here, because it says um, plastic, metal, glass, ceramic, laminated paper, coated paper and leather. Ah, there you go, not recommended for fabric. I've used this on fabric, but I've not washed it. I've actually stamped onto, let me just um, try and get this piece of... Uh, no, I've, I've actually tried it on um, on some like burlap, but I haven't washed it. So there you go. Officially, they say no. Computer says <laughs> no. Okay. So and then you want to flip it over and do it on the other side, which I've already started to do, and I'll just finish this off. It looks quite bare actually, doesn't it, compared to? The other side. I think on this side I'll use some cogs. Let's fill that up. So, what do you guys think of the um, the new flowers then? Yeah, there was there was positive comments when you were running through yeah. them. Because the nice thing is that a lot of them are like autumn flowers or winter flowers, so you can do winter whites with them. So, just being asked about creativation next year, I, I don't think we're going to have a stand there. Um, we didn't actually have a stand this year. We actually did a presentation to um, to retailers, so did it in a bit of a different way. I think we're we're likely to do that again. So we will be there, we just won't have a stand and we'll be, yeah, we'll just be with <clears throat> the um, retailers' workshops and stuff, get involved that way. We will, might have to have a, another show of the flowers because those people who've joined late haven't seen them. Oh, yes, we'll do that at the end, shall we? Mm -hmm. Let me keep my eye on the time. Right, I'm going to fast forward this because... Um, don't want to run out of time. So we've done both sides, which is great. Okay, let me just get rid of my scrap paper. Okay, so now what we need to do is get a bone folder, which I put out specially, and I can't find it. Can you see a bone folder? There it is. Okay, so we want to fold this in half. Use a bone folder, nice sharp edges, and then fold it towards you. Because we're creating an M or a W, you'll see in a moment. Okay. So straight across, and then towards you. So you have an M. Okay, mm -hmm. or a W. Mm -hmm. So then flip it over and you want to do the same. So in half towards flip it over and towards. Now there are loads of videos on YouTube about this type of album. So um, if you put in mini album from 1212 or mini album 1212 or May's album, um, I know there's a girl called Tracy, um, Be Creative with Tracy or something. She does loads of mini albums as well. So you've got it that way and you've got it that way as well. Okay. So once you've got that, what we're going to do is we are going to, let me get my other piece now. Okay, so you are going to cut down the centre to the last square. 
and then this side you're going to cut down the centre of these two to the last square like so so can you see that mm -hmm. okay and then you start concertina in and just follow the folds round folding over just concertina -ing it all the way round yes and then you have a little book. Now if you pull it out like this you'll have little gaps where it wants to open either way. So you can actually decorate it so you can actually pull it out like that. And you've got both sides to decorate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stick a couple of these together so that I've got little pockets. So. If you want to see where those were, let me just pull it out again. Then you can stop the video and have a look at that. So I've just put tape on these areas. You can tape up a lot more and just make a, 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 a book of pockets, but I, I want as many sides as possible to decorate. So I'm just going to have three pockets. Okay. So then, there's my peg tool when you need it. There we go. So I'm using red line tape because this needs to be really strong. This is why I usually do this off camera, so then I don't Could embarrass my yeah, <laughs> don't embarrass myself. Could be here all night. Get yourself another cup of coffee. <laughs> you see, this is it. Once people are watching me, it's like mm. you just want to get in there and help me, don't you? Mm -hmm. You're just willing me, yay! You're just willing me to make it work. There we go. Yeah, this could be quite painful to watch. Hey! <laughs> so you can use red line tape or you could use a strong glue and clamp it until it's dry. Now that one went on there. And then this one. Stop laughing at me, yeah, Alfie. Belinda wants to reach into the screen and help. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I do need a lot of help, don't I? <laughs> so then when you bring these together, okay, you now have a little pocket that goes in there. You've got a little pocket that comes out of here, she says, and a little pocket that goes in there. So if you wanted to, you can cut out um, thumb notches in those. Now you can keep it like this and decorate both sides which will be fabulous or you can actually close these together and put ribbons on so it holds it in this position so you've just got a one-sided little book. So it's completely up to you. I quite like the way that you can decorate both sides but there again, I wanted to show you how to put your ribbon on. And the nice thing is that every single page, come in close, Alfie, every single page is already got some lovely decoration on. And that's why it doesn't matter about, you know, the orientation of all of that stamping, because you just get a little bit of everything. I've done some white spluttering on them as well. And then you can start decorating them as well. So I've got some gesso, she says, if I can open it. <laughs> My hands don't want to work today. <laughs> and um, my favourite way of is just using a, a lid and just stamping bits all over let's have a little bit 
on here. And this is my acrylic block. of the acrylic block which is quite nice but I love my gesso because it's so um, it's got so much titanium white in it so it really is lovely and white and then you can start decorating each page just blast that I don't want to then go and smudge it Now again, I've left my monochrome, but you could inject some colour at this point if you wanted to. Lou's found her heart button, so she's blowing lots of bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> Is that our Lou? Yeah. Don't oh, <laughs> she's, she's gone mad. <laughs> lots of kisses to you as well, Lou. <laughs> Thanks, Lou, for giving me an idea. She said, just make a book. Make a book, Kay. Just do a book. I used to do books all the time years ago. I really did. Made loads of them. Let me just put that to one side because I'm very conscious of time going on. And I'm not going to sit here and, you know, let you watch every single page being decorated. But it gives you a start. Phew, <laughs> he says. Phew. Now, I'm using, I love um, Sari Ribbon. Um, it was on special offer on the site it, on our website. Have we still got any, Alfie? Mm, we might have, have a little bit. Two, yeah, anyway. we'll have to get some more. Okay, so you can um, put a cover on this, a harder cover, but I quite like um, just the fact that it is quite fragile. Um, you can actually stick these on, but I'm just going to use um, an attacher, an attacher, a stapler, even. So I'm going to go with this one in the middle and just do it quite randomly. So this is actually off, I think, one roll. It's just that I've, I've cut off the different colours. And then I am going to decorate the front with some nice bits. But I just want to get this ribbon on first. Oh, we haven't told them about the... Uh, Dirty Weekend, Alfie. No, haven't. So, yeah. Hey, we have finally started to book our dates for next year for our Dirty Weekends. No, it has got nothing to do with anything naughty, only this sort of Dirty Weekend, you know, dirty hands. Um, if you want to get messy with us, um, we have, Alfie has just confirmed a booking for next year. Let me just do this awkward bit. So if you want this to be open and give you a bit of room for embellishments, which I always do, you want that to be quite, quite long. So that's a good inch. And then just grab hold of it and do those three. Whilst you've got it measured. So, our first one is um, apart from our retreats here at Indigo Blue, um, we have our first dirty weekend on tour. So, this is us touring the country. So, we're going to go from literally um, from Scotland from Edinburgh all the way down through to Kent and then the South West and the Midlands, the North East and the North West. So all the four corners. And we are going to, um, so you can see you've got a nice big spine there. And then you can actually then tie these up. Like so. 
and just have a nice mm -hmm. little Sue, book. Sue says, hope you're coming to Manchester. Now, that's funny, Sue. Come up, come up, come up. Sue, this is not just for you, but it is for you. We are coming to Manchester. Yay! Um, so we will be there next February. Is it February? No, no. sorry, March. Alfie, give me the date. 24th and 25th. 24th and 25th of February. So get your diary out. Get it in your diary. I think Alfie's even managed to put it on the website mm -hmm. just a few minutes ago. So you guys are the first to find out. So this is the first date. There are going to be more. So don't worry if you live in, you know, Edinburgh. Don't worry about it because your date will be coming soon. Um, but our first date, 24th, 25th of February. And the way it works is we've hired a room in a Holiday Inn so you can stay there quite reasonably. And... Um, We've got a choice of either... Unless they live in Manchester. In unless, case, you just drive unless, of course, you live in Manchester. And then you just turn up. Um, so, yeah, you can book one day or two days. We'll be having two different projects on each day. And we're also um, inviting um, other um, people to come and teach at the same time. So you've got a choice of different classes. So um, it's going to be really good fun. We're going to have things going on in the evenings as well. So um, that should be really, really good fun. So anyway, that's that. Um, so you've got your little mini book, okay, with your nice messy ties. And then you can go ahead and start playing with it and decorating it. So An Angela's some... asking about Belfast. We haven't got anything in Ireland as yet. Um, but... Yeah, we will. Um, we'll have to put the feelers out and see how much interest there is. Yeah, because I've always wanted to come to Belfast, and um, it's just a question of logistics. So if um, if we can get enough interest, if you can, you know, get it known on Facebook for us and help us out, um, and see whether we can get um, enough together, we are. We would love to come over. I would definitely love to come over to Belfast. So yeah, make it work. Yeah, there's work. there's about. There's two or three already saying, "Yeah, go to Belfast." That's great. That's really great. Yeah. But I as soon as as soon as we have new dates, they will be on the website, and I will also be sending out newsletter with all the dates and locations um, around the country. So that's good. So we're really really excited about this. So it is going to be a really good Indigo Blue tour. Um, yeah, with our Dirty Weekend. So um, tell your friends. Um, keep an eye out for our email newsletters. Um, if, you're, if you're not getting those, just go on the website um, and sign up to the email newsletter. Um, but also, obviously, we are using Facebook Live to launch all of our new stuff with you guys because, um, you know, you are our heart and soul. So thank you very much. So okay, just so I just want to show you the uh, little book. So this is how wide the spine is now, okay, and we've got the um, ribbons on. I'm actually going to decorate the front of this, um, but you can leave it blank, put buttons on or do whatever you want with it, and then you can actually start decorating the inside. And because I've left quite a lot of space for the spine, I can actually do quite uh, chunky embellishments on here if I wanted to, or lots and lots of layering. And of course you have got those pockets that you can actually work with as well. So this is the sort of thing that you can actually take away with you if, you, if you've got a space in your handbag for, for this and a few pens you can doodle in it and um, just enjoy playing while you're waiting at the dentist or something or on your, on your tea break. So yeah, nice little mini book out of a 12-12 paper. There's loads and loads of stuff on um, YouTube as well about doing mini books. So go and have a look because I haven't made mini books for years. And I used to make tons of them and they are so much good fun. So I might just get out some old ones that I've made for you next time. Okay, so that's your mini book and um, that's it for tonight. So I just want to go through these with you. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, you've still got a few more seconds just to comment and share and I'd like you to choose which one you would like if you are going to win. Well, it's so, easier to just choose it once we announce the yeah, winner. Yeah, once we announce the winner, <laughs> um, you will be asked to choose. So, we have lovely new big butterfly and this is really big. Okay, we have the beautiful oh, marigold and peony. Is that alright? No, it's not. 
No, it's not. We have further back. Yep. Yeah. Marigold and Peony. Wild Poppy. This is the Peony. Anemone and Daisy. And Flower Power. So again, those will be launched on Sunday on Hachanda at 8am. So join me then. Thanks ever so much for watching. Um, thanks to Alfie for looking after everything. <laughs> and we will see you next Wednesday at 6pm on the Facebook Live. Thanks very much. Bye. Ella says, do you want a cuppa? Oh yes, I do want a cuppa. <laughs>